Hello, I will be presenting the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master's degree called Excellence in Analytical Chemistry, or as we like to call it, each. A little bit about me as well, I am Merili and I am a recent graduate of the program. Today I will give an overview of sorts about what each is. Then I will talk about what the process of studying in the program lo looks like. So you could imagine yourself studying here, I will be introducing some of the buildings where you will be studying. Then I will also talk a little bit about the organization that is connected to the program, which is called Erasmus Mundus Association. Finally, probably the most important aspect of your studies, internships and career prospects after you graduate. First of all, why does analytical chemistry even matter in the world? Chemical analysis is one of the cornerstones of technological progress, and the examples for that are endless. With analytical chemistry, we can so uh, support high-tech product development and production. Additionally, a chemical analysis can be used to guarantee security and safety, either through drug and explosive residue detection or analyzing food and water for contaminants, or analyzing the work environment. So the connection to the real life is very, very strong. Each is an international two-year joint master's degree program, which is tuned to the job market needs. It educates specialists in analytical chemistry to work in any real-life chemical analysis application. It gives knowledge and skills in both fundamental and applied aspects of modern analytical chemistry, as well as providing soft skills and generally very valuable life experiences. Thanks to this connection to the job market, there is a big importance of internships in this program. So in most cases, the students pass one internship uh, separately and another connected with their master's thesis. So, why choose each? It will give you a mobility experience in two European universities. The locations are shown here. One of the universities is of course here in Estonia, University of Tartu and the other three are in Finland, Sweden and France. Because you will be studying in two universities, you will receive a double diploma. You will be taught by teachers who are very experienced and established in the field, and you will have the opportunity to specialize in leading fields of analytical chemistry. Because it's a very international program, you will be studying with people from all over the world. This makes it a hugely enriching experience culturally and, of course, networking-wise, as you are studying with future specialists in the field. Of course, one of the very important thing is that most of the students in the program receive the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master's Degree Scholarship, which is very highly esteemed and very competitive as well. So, a bit more closely about the study program. As I already mentioned, the first year will be spent in the University of Tartu, which is the same for all incoming students. In Tartu, you will learn uh, the fundamentals of analytical chemistry. Since we have students with rather different backgrounds from different universities, in some courses there will be introductory tests, for example, and some leveling activities are also necessary to kind of give everyone the same base level understanding. Usually, in the summer between the two years, it is recommended to have an internship in a laboratory or an industry, so you already get some experience and you already can kind of apply the knowledge you have learned during the year. During the second year, you will specialize more in one direction of analytical chemistry, depending on the university you choose. So there are three universities to choose from for the second year in Sweden, uh, Uppsala Universitet, Université Claude Bernard Léon I in France, and Oba Academy in Finland. Additionally, during your second year, you will work on your master's thesis, which you can do in the university laboratory or industry. It is also possible to move to yet another country for the master's thesis, so if you have an interest in working in a laboratory or company that is not in any of the four countries, it is also possible. In Tartu, as I said, you will learn the fundamentals of analytical chemistry. There is a general analytical chemistry module, as well as metrology and quality management module, which are very important in analytical chemistry. 
Additionally, there is a social economical module where you can learn about the connection between analytical chemistry and economy, environment or the law, as well as a language course. Then there are elective courses and there is a very long list to choose from. It involves diverse subjects from the Faculty of Sciences. Finally, there are option, uh, also optional courses, which you have to take for at least three ECTS. And these courses can be anything from the university. So if there's something uh, like a language or philosophy or whatever interests you, you can take that course for your optional course. In Uppsala Universitet, in Sweden, the focus is more on organic and bioorganic analysis and multimodal separation techniques. There are only two but very big courses. In one of them you will learn to analyze complex samples and in the other one you will really go deep into mass uh, spectrometry. The master's thesis can be done either in the university or with an associated partner. Typically, that's for every university, you will have an internship based on which you will write your thesis. If you choose the Lyon 1 University, you will focus more on the industrial analysis and process control, which is very relevant, of course, in industries and in big productions. They are very interested in in situ analysis and automatization, so the subjects are also connected to that. A lot of different topics are covered from experimental design, industrial instrumentation to even soft skills. As for the master's thesis, it is highly recommended to do an internship in the industry, but it's also possible to do it in an academic laboratory based on which you will again write your thesis. Oba Academy is very focused on electrochemistry. Uh, they are working on ad, uh, advanced analytical devices sensors as well as miniaturization of different instruments. There you can learn about applied electro uh, electrochemistry, chemical sensors and biosensors. You can already start working in the lab with a special project in analytical chemistry and it's very common to continue that work for your masters as well. Finally, because Oba Academy is the only Swedish university in Finland, there is also another uh, Swedish language course. Additionally, you can choose from very interesting elective courses to learn about whatever part of electrochemistry or materials chemistry interests you. Master's thesis can again be done in the university laboratory or with an associated partner. Another thing that makes each stand out is the winter school. In winter school, there are short courses on novel and relevant topics of analytical chemistry, which gives a great overview of what is really going on in this field. Most importantly, it is a meeting point between the first and second year students. Second year students give uh, presentations about their lives in their universities. There is also some sort of uh, teamwork to solve analytical problems, which is usually a very hands-on task. Finally, in winter school, students also choose their study track for the second year. All second year universities are represented in winter school and uh, students can discuss with the representatives to make an informed choice. Now I will take you on a small tour of sorts of the learning environment. As the program starts in Estonia, in Tartu, then it's suitable to also start with it. The main part of the studies take place in the building of the Institute of Chemistry, which is also called Chemicum. There are laboratories, uh, auditoriums, there is also a cafeteria and a library. There are comfortable areas to study and pass some time between the classes. And finally, there are also scientific departments uh, of the Institute. So if you're really interested in already getting some practical experience, it's possible to do that there as well. Also, some courses uh, take place in the Institute of Physics, or Physicum, which also has uh, auditoriums, labs, study areas, etc. In Uppsala, you will spend most of your time in the BMC building, and again, there are places to study, to work on your laboratory projects. Uh, of course, there are cafeterias and eating areas as well. And in Opa Academy, you will have your courses in the Aurum building, which is uh, 
again, it has uh, auditoriums and laboratories. It has a cafeteria and spacious study areas. And actually, differently from the others, this building also has a gym, which you can visit as a student as much as you want. Finally, in Lyon, there is a very big campus and not one specific building you will spend your time at. There are really a lot of things on the campus, of course, again, all the study uh, rooms and laboratories, cafeterias and university cafes. There is a separate library building and a lot of study areas in all the buildings. Um, there are also some scientific institutes on the Lyon campus. Uh, there's a possibility to do different kinds of sports. And if you're under 30 years old, you can stay in a dormitory on campus. So everything you need is very close to you. In addition to the network that is already within the program between the people in the same intake or different intakes, there is also the Erasmus Mundus Association, which has a much wider reach. There are over 400 Erasmus Mundus programs, which are all built with the same structure. Students will pass their studies in two or even more countries. The Erasmus Mundus Association has over 16,000 members from all over the world, so it really is a big network of people who have kind of had a similar, similar educational experience. Another reason why the association is very important for the members is that they have professional development activities and also they offer opportunities to advance your career. They also have projects for the members to benefit from. And in any case, it's a great organization that you will be able to join when you're studying in each. As I have mentioned before, there are a lot of internship opportunities and a very big focus on internships in each. The program has 11 educational and 22 non-educational associated partners. This is something that changes a lot though. There are a lot of internship collaborations as well with uh, laboratories and, and some companies. So there are some places where it is known already that one or more students from the program has done their internship there. So there is already a good cooperation and it's very nice, of course, for the both parties. But of course, students are really encouraged to apply for internships that they are interested in. So if you have something very specific in mind that is not among the associated partners, it is still possible to do your inter internship there. So the program is very flexible on that front. And finally, something that all your family members and friends and colleagues will be asking, what are the career prospects? What will you do after you graduate? Each has a very high success rate when it comes to career prospects. 90% of the graduates have already secured a position within a few months after graduation. And a lot of the times they actually already have something lined up when they graduate. A lot of the graduates go into research and development. Uh, it can be done in major companies like chemical industry, pharmaceutical industry, or even advanced material production. They can also use their knowledge in health, consumer and environmental protection agencies, in quality assurance, whether it be food processing or manufacturing. Uh, each also gives a competency to work at certif certification, standardization and accreditation authorities, as well as national centers and institutes of metrology. Finally, of course, a lot of graduates continue their academic journeys with a PhD. So this is all from me. It has been great to talk to you about my master's program. And of course, big thanks to you for watching this presentation and giving it your attention. If it's something you would be interested in, uh, feel free to scan the QR code on the left to learn more about the program from our website and the QR code on the right to connect with us on social media.